Hi, this is Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking. Thanks for letting me back into your home again tonight. It's so good to see you, and I'm so glad that you're joining me here. Um, I was thinking the other day about things that my mother and my grandmother and things used to make, and one of the things, the cookies she used to make that I used to love as a child was actually she used potato chips in the cookies. So I'm going to show you how we're going to make this recipe. It's only like five ingredients, but they make wonderful cookies, and the kids will love them. So... It is rich, it's not sugar-free, and it's not light in calories. I've got a pound of butter, or four sticks of butter, that have been sitting here at room temperature. So I've got those in my, in my blender, and I've got one cup of sugar. I'll pour my one cup of sugar in. To that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. As one. But I promise you, once you, once you try these, and you will, you'll want to fix them again. I'm going to let them blend together a little bit. I'm going to put it on uh, stir, slow at first. Because I want this butter and sugar and vanilla to get all, all creamy. Okay. After that's creamed together, I get as much off as my paddle blade here as I can. I want to scrape this down. Remember, always scrape from the bottom. I don't want to make sure there's no sugar or anything left at the bottom of this, okay? I'm going to actually take my paddle blade off at this time. I'm going to scrape it down, get as much off as I can, put it in my sink, and I'm going to actually take my bowl off right now. Well, I think I am. Okay. Now, I've got, right here, I've got three and a half a cups of just all-purpose flour. I'm going to add a little bit at a time to, to my mixture here. And I'm going to switch over from my spatula, which I will use again, to a wooden spoon that's a little bit easier to work with. Because this will become a very thick dough in a, in a few minutes. Okay, now I'm going to add the rest of it. As you will see, it will come very, very thick. All right, before I get it all the way incorporated, is what I'm going to do next is I have a bag of just plain chips. Okay, they're like Lay's chips in the state. This is plain potato chips. I'm going to open a little some of the air out and then I'm just going to take and I'm just going to crunch my chips. And you're saying, boy, that's a waste a whole bag of chips. But I'm not really because I can use these chips. What I don't use, I can use for, for breading chicken or breading pork chops or believe me, there's a hundred other uses that I can make with these chips. So I'll make sure I get them good and crunched up. Now, after I get them good and crunched up, make sure, let me do it one more time. I want to add two cups of crushed chips. Well, I guess if you ever want to know how many bags of crushed chips in the bag, uh, potato chips, now we know. It's, it's, it's uh, one whole bag equals two cups of crushed chips. Okay, I'm going to pour those into my mixture also because I want to get them all, all mixed up while I'm doing this. And like I said, this is going to become a very, very stiff mixture. And I actually remember my mom actually getting there with her hands and... Um, I'm stirring this around. I might have to do that myself to get this all incorporated. Okay, I've got this pretty well stirred up, and as you can see, it's a really thick, thick um, dough, a cookie dough. So I've got my cookie sheets here with parchment paper on them, and I'm going to take them, and I'm going to put these on my cookie sheet.
and we'll put them about, oh, about an inch apart from each other. Now my oven is set on 325, and I'm going to cook these for about 15 minutes or until, it might be longer or shorter, until the edges start to get golden brown. So let me get all these on my cookie sheet, and I'll be right back with you. As you can see, I've got two trays, and what I'm doing right now is I'm putting a little tiny hole in the top of each one of them, and that's because we're going to be doing some dusting after we get through, and that I, might, I want this to be a, sort of an indent in top of each one of them. You don't have to do this. This is just the way that my mom did it, and that's the way I'm doing it. So, And as you can see, I've got probably enough batter left over that I can make another sheet of cookies. So I'm going to put these in the oven now for about... Um, about 15 minutes then I'll be back and we'll take them out and we'll take a look at them I'll be back. okay my cookies were out of, the, uh, out of the oven they were in there for about 20 minutes instead of 15 minutes because I wanted the edges to be golden brown like like that okay so and we'll put them and just put them on these cookie sheets and I lined this the underneath here with with parchment paper, but you could do with newspaper, or you could do with a grocery bag, or, or anything. Um, whatever it takes for easy cleanup, I like easy cleanup. So the next steps could be messy, so I'm all about easy cleanup. And I've got another whole tray of cookies in the stove right now, so it made an extra tray of cookies. So I'm gonna set this aside. What I'm gonna do now, as I've got some confectionery sugar, and that's why I've got this paper down, and I'm just going to go over all of them. Just a matter of this buttery flavor, the saltiness from from the from the um, potato chip. You've got the sweet powdered sugar on top. They're going to be crunchy. This is going to have everything. I promise you, once you make these, I remember as a kid, I used to stand there and I would holler at my mom, can I have one now? And she said, they've got to dry first. They've got to, they've got to cool down some. They're too hot. But I wanted it right then. Um, but just, you know, just put as much powdered sugar on you as you want there. I like a lot of powdered sugar on mine. Uh, but do yours how you want to do it. So I'm going to let this set this for a second till the other batch comes out. And I'll be right back with you in about five minutes. Okay, my second batch is out of the oven. And I'm going to put them here on my cooling rack to cool. Okay, as you can see, my second batch is out. And I'm putting the powdered sugar on these now. That's why I put the paper down because if not, this could be a mess afterwards, but it'd be an easy clean up. And I go back and re-sugar them. Okay, I've got these all sugared up now. And now is the time that I'm going to spend the time with you to try. This is one of the ones that has cooled. Um, and I'm going to go to bite. It's nice and golden brown around the edges and the bottom. They taste like a, a Christmas butter cookie, okay? With a hint of salt. And it's crunchy because of the cornflakes, I mean, because of the um, potato chips. And the powdered sugar on the top just gives an ex extra kick. You really need to try these. They're just five simple ingredients I'm sure that you uh, have in your home right now. I'm very fortunate that I had uh, both of my grandmothers love to cook and my mother liked to cook. Um, and my mother would make things for, for us all the time we asked them for. She was an incredible lady. She, um, she could do just about anything. I remember many times that uh, I have twin girls that they would see something in a magazine they liked, uh, clothing or something, and she'd go home and make it. No pattern, she would just make it. She was an incredible woman, making things and canning things. She had an incredible rose garden. So I'm blessed to have had the knowledge, spend the time with her, 
and remember to make these things. Thank you so much for following me on Facebook and subscribing to me on YouTube. You're part of my family now, and I, I love coming into your home, sharing these things with you. Please try these. I think that you'll be surprised how good they are. When you tell people that you've got um, potato chip cookies, they're going to look at you like you're crazy. But let them try one, or you just try one, and let me know what you think. And the next time you take care of yourself, thanks for having me in your home again. I had such a good time, as always. This is Jim in Mexico saying, God bless.